guys welcome back to the channel today i'm going to show you how you can go about getting your very own swift gloom hoof mount in wow first we're going to head to arden Weald to the root home flight master and then we're going to head south towards tierna scythe here in tierna scythe we're going to be obtaining the broken soul web and in order to loot this item you do need to be level 60. here i'm going to speed up the footage so you can see where exactly in Tierna Scythe that we will need to head to. Once here in this little cul-de-sac area, you can actually jump onto this route right here, dismount, and then make your way all the way up this larger route. From here, you're going to continue heading upward and around this large tree. And on the back side, there is a cart. And at the back of the cart underneath is our broken soul web. So once you have obtained the broken soul web, you'll need to head to the flight master and fly to Glitter Fall. For this next portion of the quest line, you're going to need to have completed the Gormling Corral quest line, which are all of these quests here. And once you've completed these, you'll then need to continue on and do the Tricky Spriggins quest line as well. So all of these quests can be picked up in Glitter Fall, and you'll need to speak to the NPC Lady of the Falls, which is located right next to the Flight Master. Once you've completed both of those sets of quests, you'll then need to speak to Elder Gwenna. If she's not here, you'll need to leave the area and come back, and then she should be spawned. Also, you will need to dismount in order to speak with her, and for her to repair the broken soul web, you will need 10 lightless silk. Once you have the repaired soul web in your inventory, head back to the flight master and make your way over to the heart of the forest. And you'll need to speak with Ysera. If you're in the Night Fae Covenant, she's located here inside the heart of the forest. And if you're not like me, you'll simply speak with one of the guards who will then summon Ysera. She'll come down the entrance and then you can speak with her then. Once you've spoken with her, you should now have the dream catcher in your inventory. And we will once again head back to the flight master and make our way over to Hibernal Hollow. So all along the right side of Hibernal Hollow here is where the Nightmare boss will spawn. You can simply run outside this northmost entrance. And here along the road, you can right click on the Dreamcatcher in your inventory where the Nightmare will spawn. They only spawn on the right hand side of Hibernal Hollow. As you can see, the Nightmare has spawned right over here. We did this with two people fairly easily, but I think soloing it might be a little difficult as he does do quite a bit of damage. Once you've defeated him though, you can right click on him to obtain your swift gloom hoof mount. 